Hey, this is David's Irritation. I am going to be doing a Let's Play of Fear 3. Why Fear 3? Because I really haven't seen too many Let's Plays of it. That's mostly why. I wanted to do Duke Nukem first, but there were some issues, blah blah blah, I just don't care anymore. So, I'm gonna start new game. I haven't even beat this game, I've got like halfway through it and some shit happened and I just quit. Um, so. We were brothers. Prototype commanders in the emerging field of psychic warfare. I was the favorite. I gave them what they wanted. Drugs? I gave them blood. Oh. They say the synchronicity with my mother made me homicidal. He was the first prototype. His enhanced reflexes made him an unstoppable killer. When my brother found me, he put a bullet in my head. But you were technically fucking his mom. Never broke. Like a curse, bound by blood. Okay. I wondered why I'm like watching this whole intro because I never watched it to begin with, so I'm just kind of curious what it's like. take over the body of any enemy, and when you do, you get all your health back instantly, so there's not really any point of it. Uh, you just basically run around taking bodies, killing everybody in the room, and you just move on, kill that body, take another body, and so on and so forth. Uh, but this guy, eh, typical shooter, I suppose. This is fear operative Jin What else would we escape for? Okay. I have to hold E to open the door, I can't just press E. That's a good sign. Run, run, run. Uh, who the fuck runs like that? Like, both their hands out in front of them, like, ooh. Ooh, Bravo 4 3 actual out. Okay. Damn thing is rusted shut. 
Yeah, instant backstab, knife techniques, next level killing power. Something. Ah shit, it's him! Oh, there he's covered. Get down here, he's loose! Forget it, you're not You also had the ability to slow time in this game, which is kind of cool. I mean, you could in the other games too, but. Point is, it's kind of a way trying to be scary, but not really. Where is he? Yeah, where the hell is he? You see that shit? What shit? The expander. Oh yeah. The only thing about this game that gets kind of annoying is you level up based on how you kill things or some other shit, or random other shit. Like if I stand behind uh, this thing and cover for a while, I'll actually eventually get a little achievement just from being in cover for so long. Question is, do I really want to sit here for that long and delay the video? Oh, look, pitching a tent. He's covered for a total of 100 seconds. Yeah, that's not how I pitch a tent, but anyway. Moving right along. Oh, look, ammo boxes. Oh, the other stupid thing. You, uh... Like whenever you pick up an item, you also get an achievement thing. Or experience, I guess. Um, so... Well, I mean, when you pick things up a certain amount of time, you get experience crap. So really all you gotta do is just do this, and yeah, there you go. And there's different degrees of that gatherer thing. But this is kind of a cheap way to do it, because you're not gonna do it otherwise. Just gotta do it eight more times, I think. So yeah, there's that. It's taking those assholes so long. Well, who cares? Just shut up. Just open the door and kill somebody. That's what's taking so long. Yeah. <laughs> How quickly it all returns to you. Ten kills in a row without taking damage. Is that what you just? I definitely took damage. Is there something over here? Why the hell can I go through this door? There's gotta be a reason. Game is it's very Deuces linear. Born. Deuces. Yeah, twos, dumbass. Like, I know very, that. Who very the fuck says deuces? Ah, shit, he's loose! I am the perfect soldier. Cam says so. Quad, move out! Let's get a train. Slow motion shit to the end. Behind the counter! Oh yeah, is that where I am? Is that where you think Hell I am? No. I am here. Eyes left! I've been hit! I'm not shooting Fuck, anything. Down. Uh, yeah, the majority of this game is just stand in cover, wait till your energy comes back, and then slow motion kill things again. Take cover! Yeah, I meant to shoot that. That's fine. Ah, I forgot to let it go. Oh, son of a bitch! I need some help here. Cover me. Can you see it? 
Fuck. See the bullet in your brain. Yeah, hey, I'm pitching a tent still. Just gonna let this drain all the way. Come on, Let's peek out, you bastard. I guess I'll just use this opportunity to get one of these vault over the thing kills. Yeah. Or not. Another thing is if you vault over and bitch. Say again, Bravo 25. Who's loose? Probably should just switch weapons now. The juice. The juice is loose. Do we have a break? Counted towards the new killer. The I vaulted. Oh, I did it. Shit! I'm pinned down. We got a hostile target. Shit, shit, shit. Ah! I have no desire <laughs> to actually aim right now. <laughs> um. Also, you have to get so many kills with each weapon. And this wouldn't be such a bad thing if, uh... Like... It persisted through the levels so that, like, you had to just keep on killing stuff... With certain weapons, and it would just keep giving you more experience that way. Now, every level you have to get so many kills so many ways, and it's really annoying. At least, that's how I feel about it. I guess it does add variety to what is a fairly dull game. Um, Alright. The blood is dripping upwards. Use my psychic link. I guess. However that works. Take care with your flashlight. It will give you away. Okay. What's the latest? Apparently not. Drop! Target acquired. I Fair enough. Go, go, go! Advance it! Target by the security barricade! The trick is to not really give up your spot once you can fire at something, because otherwise you don't really see what's going on outside your cover. This way, it's pretty much. Oh shit. Perfectly viable tactic right here. Hey, my slow-mo meter goes up. Uh oh. 